He's a forestry man and he's a dairy farmer, right? So they are hard workers. He's not a guy to be messed with. He's here, he came down yesterday. Another, my other neighbour, she's in her 60s, I won't say because I'm not sure. She's been down here for the whole week camping out here. And she lost her job because of the mandates. My whole family was affected by the mandates. My oldest son is a pilot. He flies DHB specialists around the country. He had to get the jab to keep his job. My other son's a cop. He had to get the jab to keep his job. And my wife works for, the, for a, someone and she's been mandated as well. So I couldn't go to the, to the local sale to sell my stock because I don't have a vaccine pass or I wouldn't use a vaccine pass. So what I'm saying to you is that we're in a point in history where I know that there are cops that have been dismissed in this crowd. There are army guys. There you go. There's some women. Some... <laughs> and some of their colleagues are over there and they're over here. That's why I don't want us aggro directed at anyone. And there are Defence Force personnel that are here. There are nurses that have been sacked that are here. There are teachers that have been sacked that are here. So there are people in this crowd that have honourable professions that have lost their jobs because of the mandates. So what I say to you is, we will win this, but we won't win it with violence or aggro. We will win it by just sheer numbers. And when some people go home, fresh people will come in and they will take over, and I want to acknowledge all the people out there that are providing the food and the logistics and the organisation. And the reason why I say we will win this is because we have to win this. Okay? We have to win this. So I am, I am here with you, supporting you, representing you as best I can, and I wish... Look, I'd, if the government came to us and said the mandate's are over tomorrow, We'd have this place cleared within a day. Okay, no, stay. Okay. And all it would take was a bit of grass seed and a spread of it of dirt around and we'd be gone and it'd be fine. So, so what I say to you all there is, is hold the line. Please again, non-violence, no aggro. Doesn't matter what someone says to you or does to you, just passive resistance and we will win this. Thank you so much everyone. I'm here for two days. I'd love to meet you and talk to you.